So, in this video I am sharing how I modeled Kero from Cardcaptor Sakura. I wanted to practice modeling characters with props, so I used this screenshot from the anime as an inspiration. I started by adding a cube with a subdivision surface modifier for the body and another one for the head. I extruded some vertices for the ears and shaped them accordingly. Normally I model my characters in a t-pose so I can rig them and pose them however I want. But since I was using a reference and this design is quite simple, I decided to model him in the final pose right away. I used the mirror modifier for the legs and feet, but for the arms I just modeled one, duplicated that mesh and changed it to make the other arm. I started the wings with a cube, divided them into three segments and extruded the tips individually to make the feathers. To make the faces of the tail move along properly, I activated proportional editing with the feature connected only checked in. For the fur, I created a cube with an applied subdivision surface modifier and started extruding some vertices in random parts. The fork is made of two meshes, the handle and the metallic part. Meanwhile, I started assigning various materials to differentiate the character and the props. These different colors will later show which texture map will be used in each mesh. The cake was divided into three layers, and then I duplicated the top layer and scaled it up to make the cream on top. In the texturing phase, I created an opacity layer that would give the shape I wanted without creating extra polygons. I created a meringue shape which I duplicated and filled the top of the cake with and at the end I added a strawberry on top. Finally, I added a plane to make the floor. After UV unwrapping the model, creating the opacity maps that I needed and baking all the available maps in 3D Painter, it was time to start texturing everything. I started by giving a base color to the mesh, adding hand painted details like the face and the inside of the ears and then added some generators like dirt, position and ambient occlusion. 
In the end, I added the back lighting stylized filter for a more finished look. Then I repeated the process for the props and the floor. Back in Blender, I used notes to add the opacity maps I previously did for the cake and the floor, and in the end I added a solidify modifier on the character and the props to create an outline. And here is the final result! A quick reminder that you can check my older work on my social media pages, links in the description, and if you want to see more, click this playlist to see all my speed models. Thank you for watching, I'll see you soon!